Welcome to Motors and Medicine. On today's episode, um, I have kind of a crappy, unfortunate uh, news to report, and that is that my windshield has cracked again, which is really annoying. So I kind of wanted to kind of go over this with you, that if you happen to be a, a Bronco owner, you probably already know about this, or if you are a prospective uh, Bronco owner, this is something you should probably know about. Um, Broncos, Jeeps, uh, and to some extent the G-Wagons because of their virtually vertical front windshield tend to be very at risk for developing cracks and um, the cracks spread very quickly. Um, this Bronco, I've only had it, I mean, it's, it's, it's actually a couple years old now. I bought it back in, uh, I ordered it summer of 2020 during the pandemic and I got it about 18 months later. Um, and now, um, I love this vehicle. You guys have seen several videos on this vehicle. I love uh, all the different aspects about it. But I remember I made uh, a video a while back about the five dislikes, and windshield was one of them because they, they crack so easy, and it's really annoying. Um, and these windshields are not cheap. Um, luckily, when I had this one replaced, because I've already had this windshield replaced once, um, part of the process was being able to get a warranty on the window. And so I'm going to get a replacement windshield for just the cost of install, which is like 100 bucks or something like that. But the purpose of this video, not only to showcase this stupid crack on my windshield, but more importantly, uh, to try to um, give you a little advice on when you're driving the Bronco. Number one, try your best to give yourself a fair amount of distance between yourself and the cars in front because any little thing that kicks up for some reason just loves to hit the windshield and cause problems. Um, you know, it's one thing to get a rock chip that you have to have filled. That's enough of a problem and an inconvenience. But when it cracks, what happened to me was I was driving home from work last week and um, unfortunately, it was already after closing for the windshield place. I got a small rock chip and I thought, okay, well, I'll just wait till tomorrow morning and uh, I'll go get it fixed or filled. Well, I woke up in the morning, went out to my car, and of course, I find that the crack had spread like 10 inches overnight, which is not a good thing. But anyway, I digress. Um, here's the, ma the main thing. When you're driving these Broncos, obviously try to keep a good distance. But more importantly than that, one of the things that I am going to uh, have the windshield place do this time around is apply uh, either a coating or some type of film on the windshield, which will help mitigate some of these rock chips from causing cracks. Um, it's not foolproof and it's not gonna stop all of the incidents from happening, but it hopefully will mitigate many of them so that I don't end up with another cracked windshield. Um, because it's just a bummer, it's not safe, it looks terrible, and I don't know why, but I'm just very OCD, and so whenever I see it, it drives me crazy, I need to get it fixed as quick as possible. Um, and unfortunately, since this Bronco is still relatively new, um, it's hard to come by these windshields. Very few places have them in stock, so of course the windshield place that I took it to, they had to order it, so I don't know when that will come in, hopefully here in the next week or so. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on that. It's kind of a bummer. Um, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? I mean, it's a car, cars are gonna get rock chips. Uh, but these windshields, they're just so brittle. They, uh, they crack so easy and I wish there had been something from Ford that would have helped prevent that problem from happening. Um, but regardless, it is what it is. So uh, hopefully you guys found this information useful. Those of you who are either Bronco owners or prospective owners in the future or waiting on your Bronco, keep in mind that the windshields just love to crack. And so uh, it's kind of a pain, but it is what it is. So uh, uh, on my next video, I hope to be doing a review on a car again. Um, I will find out here soon. But otherwise, I appreciate all your support. Please give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated the information. 
And uh, like I said, many of you have watched my videos, you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. It helps the channel grow. It'll help me to keep being able to put, put out more content. And, uh, you know, I appreciate your support. So until then, this is Motors and Medicine signing off. Thanks.